let's pray then start yeah father we we just come before you lord this time we thank you for this day we thank you for the sessions that we've had so far and uh, yes master we we thank you for you are the one who speaks to us you are the one who draws us lord um closer and deeper lord into all that you have for us master we thank you and father god even right now lord we come at this class into your mighty hands we pray that you would continue to speak to us let it be that all the things that we learn lord uh, stay with us father god that we might apply it father god um yes master we thank you for um god we thank you for the deposit of your word lord thank you for the deposit of uh, lord your revelation in our hearts father god we pray that you'll continue to do that um and uh, i pray that spirit of god that you will draw it out or at the right time god that it might be a blessing lord not just for ourselves but for others as well we thank you in jesus name we pray amen amen okay okay so uh, where did we stop last class um the different types of sermons right um so we looked at a topical sermon we looked at a textual sermon right and then we also saw that there is something called an expository sermon which is more to do with the exposition of a certain passage it could be a certain chapters passage or it can even be a book right so we looked at that um so we can use any of these methods uh, or um in our in our ministering in our preparation of a sermon right so today let's look at uh, let's get into the details of uh, preparing of a sermon you know what are the different um sections in a sermon and so how do we go about preparing it okay so you know there are a couple of lines of thought in the sense some people feel that one should not prepare at all okay completely rely on god just go the holy spirit will speak and that's it right and uh, most of that that kind of an idea comes from what the lord says you know lord said that um, you know don't worry about what you will speak and in that moment it will be given what you should speak right and the lord meant it in the context of persecution right you will be brought before kings you will be brought before you know uh, people for my sake for my name's sake so that instruction which the lord gave the people was you know don't worry about you know how you're going to defend yourself right in that moment it will be given to you so it was in context of persecution so we cannot apply it generally and say um you know i'm not going to prepare you know, i'll just go and i will just speak whatever you know comes to my mind and then it hopefully it will make sense right so uh so that's uh, you know this quote by cs uh, uh, charles adams spurgeon is a very interesting one he says to habitually to come into the pulpit unprepared is unpardonable presumption okay yes there are moments when the lord will actually use us in those ways where where you are called you didn't plan it right it was a uh, it was a unscheduled invitation people just say no why don't you share something and the lord will definitely you know put things in your heart but the preparation of the heart belongs to us belongs to man right to to read to study to prepare oneself you know what is the lord saying and how, you know how should how best can we convey this all that uh, is is our responsibility right so when we look at this putting together the sermon there are different parts of it okay the first thing is about the title that you're giving sermon you know we need to understand there's difference between a sermon topic and the title okay the topic could be about let's say for example if you say the the topic is on faith okay so the sermon topic is on faith which means that sermon is going to be on faith the subject of faith but the sermon title could be a title like this it could say the good fight of faith okay so that is the sermon title but what is the topic on 
the topic is on faith okay another example uh, let's say the topic is on the holy spirit okay we're going to teach on the holy spirit we're going to preach on the holy spirit but the sermon title could be let's say the person and the power of the holy spirit so that is the title okay so what is what is the difference the topic is the subject the, the theme it's very broad right it can be about uh, you can you can say in a topic like uh, the life of a believer could be a topic but then the title could be you know growing in faith or growing as a being effective as a believer or being effective as a disciple so we understand the difference between the theme and the i'm sorry the topic and the title okay so the title of the message is is something that is that is going to be about what you're going to share in the sermon it cannot be disconnected from the sermon right i know you know in some cases there are the titles which are very very creative right uh, or you know it's 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 supposed to be creative but then the title is very very radical different and it do, it doesn't seem to have any connection with the sermon itself right um like and it it has you know it it, it does help in some ways in the sense it uh, people are curious hey what is this person going to speak about he's saying you know a topic is like uh, let's say the title is like um, for example i remember we did this uh, you know this title was to totally greek title okay it was about i think it was about higher faster deeper something like that but it was in the greek words right altius something something right so it can be a creative title it can people can be curious about it but uh it doesn't go beyond that people may not know uh what the message is about sometimes they can be turned off also you know i didn't understand maybe it's better that i don't you know um, uh, receive from this or listen to this sermon no the title becomes important because today in our day and time um our messages are recorded we put it on youtube we put it on social media right so having a good title always helps right um so uh let's say if you were to so i want you to take some time and uh, write down okay the theme okay what is the topic that you want to prepare a sermon on okay what is the topic that you want to prepare a sermon on and what title are you going to give the sermon okay so why don't you just take 5 minutes to write down okay for example you want to sermon uh, you want to speak on something okay what is the sermon topic what is the subject that you're going to speak on that you want to speak on and what is the title that you want to give okay so take some 5 minutes and write it down so let me just um, even for the online st uh, students you know take some time um i hope you you understood about the topic and the title right so take some time to do that uh, yeah it can be same okay the question was you know can the title and the topic be the same thing you know it can be in some cases it will, it can be the same thing no problem but i uh, just want to encourage us to be be creative about the title so that it generates interest you know people are curious okay suppose you put a title you know uh, a sermon title on maybe uh, you know social media or maybe you're putting it on youtube or whatever you know let it be creative enough so that people can click on it you know listen to it um so think about that okay
Okay. Okay. So would you like to share? Okay. Uh, j just before we get into it, um, in the classwork section, I've actually created a Google Sheet. Okay. If you go to the classwork section, uh, online students can check it out. Um, in the list of, there, there is a, under class assignment, there's a list of sermon topics and titles, right? So you can actually, um, e-learning students, uh, you can actually post it on the uh, discussion itself, right? So um, you will not have a sheet, e-learning students, but online students, you can uh, access the Google Sheet and you can post, right? Um, so it, your name, your full name, as that you've given to the Bible College, and also your topic, sermon topic, and the title. Okay. Okay. So let's uh, let's have a few people share it. Maybe we can start from uh, Diksha and go all the way. Yeah. What is the topic and what is the title? Title we can keep like Jesus cares for us. I'm sorry, sorry, what? what um, Jesus cares for us. Jesus cares for us is the title that you want to give. So that so that what is the sermon topic about? It's like do not worry. Uh, mm. Okay. So sermon topic is um, about not worrying. And uh, the sermon title is Jesus cares for us. Huh? Okay, okay. Yeah. So yeah. Temptation. Temptation is a yes. topic. Okay. Jesus was temptation. We are the temptation to overcoming to overcoming temptation. Yes. Okay. Right. Uh, anyone online? Would you like to share the sermon topic and the title? Pastor, I have uh, I have okay. taken the sermon as a gift of the spirit, and the topic is discernment. Uh, I think it should be the other way, right? The topic is Gifts of the Spirit. And in that, the title is... Uh, 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 or is the topic discernment? Sorry. I'm, I'm... Uh, yeah, the uh, <laughs> topic is Gift of the Spirit. And I've uh -huh. taken title as discernment. Sermon title is discernment. I see. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to be specifically uh, speaking about the uh, yeah discernment, how to discerning be, of spirits. Yeah, how to be sensitive to uh, the Holy Spirit, how to mm. be, how to renew your mind, and uh, uh, to know what are the different types of the spirit, the human spirit, mm. the Holy Spirit, and the demonic spirits. Right, right, right. Okay, so you can actually be a little more creative also in the title. I know it's it's direct. But yeah. you can actually, you know, uh, be more creative about the title that you're giving, right? Okay. So, okay. Then I see. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Sam. Go ahead, please. Yeah. So um, I. Sorry. Yeah. Go. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. So I was uh, thinking of the topic uh, overcoming mental health, anxiety, and worry. Hmm. And uh, recently, there was this movie called Inside Out. So um, I'm using yeah. Inside Out, Journey to Wholeness. So. Okay. Inside Out is a title. Journey to... Okay. Nice. Okay. Mm. So I see here on the chat, uh, God's Intelligence in the Time of Artificial Intelligence. So that's a nice title. Um, so what would be the topic on uh, Biju? Um, God's intelligence in the time of artificial intelligence is uh, is a nice sermon title. Um, so I suppose the topic is on the wisdom of God or the omniscience of God. Right? Uh, yeah, wisdom of God. God's wisdom. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. So Shaker says, uh, title is, uh, Do Not Trust the Lies of Satan. And the topic is, it is difficult. Okay, so it's here yeah, doesn't really make sense. What is Exodus 4, 10 to 11? Um, it's a scripture reference that is given. Let me just read that. Okay, Exodus 4, 10. Um, then Moses said to the Lord, Oh my, um, oh my Lord, I'm not eloquent neither before nor since 
okay and the lord said who has made man's mouth who makes mute the deaf have i not the lord so yeah so probably the 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 ty- topic could be the lies of the enemy or the lies of satan that will could be a topic and then the title could be you know maybe it is it is difficult for me or things that i turn down uh or something like that right so the topic is about the lies of the devil right okay uh abhishek uh, title divine purpose topic is discovering the calling in god okay fine okay so uh, what you can do is uh, you can actually enter it into the google sheet um yeah uh, online students especially um, you can you can just enter it uh, right then and there and then we will you know as we learn about uh the different ways or uh, how we go about putting together the sermon you know you can add to it right you can add to you can have a word doc open and then you can add to it and add to the sermon the points etc even as you prepare right okay um who else wants to yeah you can put biryani and generator biryani and generator that's generator the, yeah that's that the is title. the title yeah okay okay the topic would be uh, ideally a reference to salt and light so i said what, what salt and light that being salt topic. and light okay, okay so probably the top to get the connectivity is like for biryani you can have all the ingredients mm-hmm. the best of meat rice masala everything but without salt it is just nothing mm-hmm. and the same thing with the generator you i mean in the house if there is no electricity you don't burn up the house it is just one candle that gives the light so oh, okay. that's the so so uh, maybe the topic should be influence and impact rather than because um topic should be about influence and impact i think the topic uh, being an influence being impactful and then the title can be this right um, yeah so okay so lucy uh, being joyful i'm getting a little um, yeah see so the title should be a little more specific okay the topic can be a general you know wide reaching thing subject it's the subject right so the title can be specific like suppose you're saying you know god's love is a topic then you can say the title can be unconditional you know uh, uh, that kind of a thing giving a little more being a little more focused uh, about the topic is the title so here lucy says rejoice in the lord and the title is being joyful so i'm just thinking whether it should be the other way around but anyway i will just i'll leave it as yes, it is so even i felt after uh, typing it out yeah it yeah yeah or you know or the joy of the lord being the topic that of study um and then you know if you say rejoice in the lord uh, or something else you know the st- yeah rejoice that would be yeah yeah so yeah anyone else yeah faith them walking by faith not be sight okay what is the topic walking, walking by faith not by sight that is the topic huh? walking by faith and not by sight and the title of the sermon faith. ah so it should be other way around right the uh, the uh, your uh, topic is uh, faith the sermon topic it, it, that is a subject it's um, you know that is going to be about and in faith you are talking about you know uh, specifically about not walking by sight but by faith yeah good to make a note of it yeah okay the image is spiritual but is spiritual battle so, sorry what the image is spiritual battle okay and topic is god uh, god fights for you Uh, sorry i didn't get it tell me again god god fights for you okay okay so, so spiritual battle is the topic and the title is god god fights for you right okay fine what two 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 oh, no, one is enough <laughs> the power of spoken word the power of the spoken word yes faith yeah so you can say the topic first yeah 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 lucy 
brother if i take the um, this one sermon thing about uh, matthew 5 how can uh-huh. i uh, title it and uh, top uh, how can i do the topic brother can i yes, tell go. it as a sermon on the mount or the beauty tutes yeah something like that so it's uh, so the sermon on the mount is uh, matthew 5 6 and 7 right yes yes brother That's Otherwise, the whole... can I give, put it as kingdom ways as a title? Yeah, yeah, something on those lines. Yes, you can. What yeah. it should be the topic? Actually, I would like. No, you Just... you decide it. You know, so you have the general idea. So uh-huh. based on what you want to share from Matthew five, you you uh-huh. you can decide because Matthew five is a whole lot of things, right? So even that kingdom, um, ways. something, yeah, kingdom ways uh-huh. or you know, kingdom thoughts, uh-huh. something that you had. Uh-huh. um that also you can you can decide right so yeah but you decide you choose okay okay, okay. yeah yeah brother right so uh, the sermon topic uh, is like the salvation that god gave us topic mm. and the title is like the free gift from god freely given free gift from god free gift from god okay yeah. fine okay god is a great god mm. and uh, great king about all god uh, sham chapter 953 um so what is the first one which is the title in this god is a great god god is a great god is a sermon title huh? mm. is it term and topic or title title that's the title okay and mm. sham chapter 9 uh, 953 great great king uh, about all god yeah so um so that should be the title okay so because you're specifically talking about uh, some 90 verse 5 huh? 95 verses 3 95 verses 3 verse 3 okay 95 verse 3 okay for the lord is the great king and the great king above all god so that should be the title we are also going to be sharing from this particular text right this particular scripture verse so that should be the title and you understood right everybody um, the difference between the topic and the title right the topic is broad the title is specific right okay yeah my topic is how to build friendship with god mm. and how to go more deeper in his presence and the title is intimate relationship with god intimacy with god okay 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 so let's um, thank you so let's learn a little bit about um, the title and maybe you if you want to you know change it or even if you want to improve on it you can right so let's look at uh, um yeah let's look at uh, the title Okay, so so the title is something that is uh, it's like an advertisement. It's like a pull. Um, it gives a you know something about what is there, what is there in the sermon, right? What this message is about. So that's the title. Okay, um, and uh, here are some guidelines. Okay, let the title reflect the main theme or content of the message. Okay, so it should reflect that. the title must not obscure the content obscure means it should not actually cover up or it should not you know kind of um, you know block the content block content is the main message like what you're sharing right? so it should be simple and it should communicate well it should serve the purpose of a title it should complement the message it should provide a good atmosphere to the sermon right it's like providing the environment for the sermon you know some if if a title is kind of uh, creative and it's it may be humorous and so on so it's it's actually right at the beginning itself it's creating that environment that hey this message is going to be like this right it's creating the mood right for the message okay and a title could also be in the form of a question right it can be a question you know uh, what are the, uh, how how can a believer walk in victory something like that you know how can one overcome temptation right how to endure affliction right so it can be in the form of a question so that is also something that 
people you know because if there's a need in people and if they see the title and if it's like a question which answers their need right how can i sorry yeah so so then people are ne necessarily you know if if you look at some of the you know some of the feeds that you might have watched or some links that you watched you've seen it you've seen that you know thumbnail and it 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 was an, it was a question how to invest and get more or something like that you know how how to uh, get rid of procrastination how to develop a good habit so you saw that hey that's a need in me is something some help that i need and then you clicked on that right so so when we when we put together a message in today's time the title is uh, is quite important because it goes on media it goes with the it also goes with the graphic right today's titles it goes with a picture okay so so that's another thing that you can think of what picture what graphic do you want to go with the title now this is something that we did not have in previous uh, you know classes but this is something that we can we can go with right so you can say okay what picture what graphic do you have in mind so that's something for us to think about okay um let me let me just add that as well okay people have started filling in a, a, you can just put the serial number you know one two yeah i see sam abhishek sagar put in okay so i'm just adding one more thing here okay so i put it as a sermon graphic there so it can be a description right it can be a description of a picture so I, i'm let me just try and figure out if you can attach a picture okay um then that will also be good okay maybe copy paste something there uh, maybe we can do another sheet right okay fine so so we see that you know uh, a title has to have you know these kind of qualities so i mean you don't have to spend a lot of time just figuring out you know what the title is what should it be um so the so the graphic or the you, you get uh, you understand right what the graphic is about right it's a um, suppose you you open any you know uh, any um, youtube uh, video or a sermon there is a picture that comes there there is a thumbnail that comes there and that is also something that talks about the sermon just like the title right so it talks about the sermon so that is also something that people are drawn to right in order to yeah so we of course we are talking about after the sermon is done after the message is done and what you are putting uploading right uh, but it's good to think about this before also why because in most cases when uh, you know when you're talking about okay this is the message that we have for this sunday or the coming sundays the title and the graphic is already put out so that people can know right and maybe there are some people who are not part of the church maybe they are genuinely seeking answers and they can also be blessed and right? they can also be part of the church they can come to the church or visit something online so that they can receive this message Okay, so so this is something that for us to um, you know going forward to keep thinking about right okay um, another thing that we need to understand when it comes to the title and the top topic of course you know you know the title is that people search uh, online right they search for certain things so there are these keywords um, that they search or there are these hashtags which actually facilitate facilitate that searching right so that's another thing to think about like when we get very creative like biryani and generator it will it will show up in every search of biryani you know which good biryani to eat it it will also you know power cuts and generator and specific it will show up um but in influence and impact it may not unless you put some certain hashtags you know so when they search for that also they should come up so that's another thing to keep in mind so um let, let's say 5 years down the line 10 years down the line if people are searching for a message uh, will this show up you know do you want this to come up 
uh, do you want this title? How can you ensure that this title comes up when people are searching for a, a message or a study or a Bible study of a particular topic? How can you ensure that this also shows up in the search, right? When you put a hashtag, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah probably, uh, there's a mic, yeah. So asking your personal suggestion in the times that we live in, uh, it is advisable not to go to Google and search for a sermon topic or a sermon or somebody else's prepared, like chat GPT or something. That's better off not to do it, no? Mm. Because, uh, okay, uh, why do you say I that? I personally feel like you know, you might get all the impact and uh, not impact, you might get all the content and uh, stuff, but if it is not like spoken to you from the Holy Spirit and think the lives that you will, God's word will impact, yeah. Through, even if it comes through AI, but if it is more done on your personal relationship and thing, it'll have more uh, reach. Yeah, because you have everything just at the snap of your finger. You have from the title, the thing, and all. But it's better to reframe. Is it better to reframe completely? No, no. The thing is, uh, see, what we are saying, talking about is the posterity of the message that God has given you. Okay, so God has given you a message, and you feel that okay, it is for a certain audience. You know, you're ministering, you go someplace, you you know, you share, and, and definitely people are blessed. Now, let's say if it's for a wider audience, if it's for a global audience, what would be the what would be the way to reach it would be to you know put it on some media where the global audience can reach, access it, and yeah. To derive the uh, So the thing is, like, if it's for a global audience, how will they know? How will they identify? How will they know? They are searching. Let's say somebody is searching. You know, I'm sitting here and I'm searching, and I want to genuinely study about the topic. Yeah. So study about the topic. You know, I'm generally uh, so. So these hashtags actually enable. I don't know how the mechanics of how it works. You know, the experts can actually share. But then, um, but have putting that actually helps us in this coming up in the search so that people can be this yeah so that's the that's the only thing you know it's it's for the reach uh, so that more more people are blessed you know and that's the only thing like i'm sure we have been blessed by you know searching for certain things and finding information references and uh, and also you know studies on certain topics and so just for us to get clarity yes there is a lot of stuff unwanted stuff there Right uh, or uh, confusing things are also there, which is not helpful for us. But there are people who are genuinely searching, and I'm sure the authentic needs to be there as well. You know, the that's a, that's a that's a thought behind it. Right? Yeah. So um, so these these are some guidelines for choosing the title, and it 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 helps um, if it is direct. It helps if it is creative. It helps if it you know stirs up curiosity in the other person, in the reader or the viewer. Right. Okay, so then we go on to what is called the introduction, right? So you you're introducing the topic, you're introducing um, the message to the audience, right? So um, the introduction is also something which is very important. So you hear, we are assuming that you're speaking, right? You're presenting. So it is something which needs to create interest, curiosity, capture the attention of the person, right? So we cannot dive straight in. Right, that's the thing. Right, suppose you are talking about you know running with endurance. You cannot just directly say, you know, you let's say somebody introduces you, or you just go forward and you start the. You know, you can't just directly say, okay, Hebrews chapter, you know, chapter eleven, chapter thirteen you know, talks about or chapter twelve, and then you start immediately without any preamble, without any introduction. You know, you can't do that. Of course, you can. Right, but normally, it would it would help to prepare the audience. To pre why are we preaching? Why are we sharing? Because we want people to receive it. We want people, we want them for the word to make a difference in their lives. Right. So it helps if you prepare the ground, if you prepare and facilitate them to receive it in the best way possible. Right. So, so an introduction helps. Introduction maybe about. Uh, you know um, uh, about the main theme, about the uh, about the preacher, right? Uh, even so, some things to keep in mind, right? You can do it. For example, you can give a biographical illustration. It can be about a person, 
right it can be about a preacher it can be a quotation right it can be the words from a hymn it can be uh, certain things like that it can be a scripture portion right so so this introduction answers the question in the listener's mind why should i listen to this person why should i listen to this message right if somebody is there sitting with a question why should i listen to you right this introduction actually helps answer that so helps prepare them makes the things maybe they are curious um, you know it stirs up their curiosity etc you know let me just um, read out and you know, i i remember listening to this person give an introduction and i found that very interesting you know in all his messages he would give an introduction uh, and it would be about the word of god right so okay uh, i'm just searching for it um i hope i find it otherwise i'll read it out <laughs> in the next one right it's uh, pretty old okay yeah so this is this is a poem that you know this person writes about the word of god okay so so there are different versions of it he has written different poems about about the bible but this is how he starts so you can actually start with you know a story you can start with somebody um, you know uh, it depends on the message what it is about right this person you know brings the focus to the word so he reads you know this particular one one version of this poem is like this okay so this is how it reads um let me just read it out okay so it goes like this though the cover be torn and its pages be worn and places bear traces of tears yet more precious than gold is this book worn and old that can shatter and scatter my fears as i peer as i prayfully look in this precious old book many treasures and pleasures i see many promises of love from my father above who is nearest and dearest to me this book is a guide is a friend by my side it will lighten and brighten my day and each promise i find soothes and gladdens my mind as i preach it and teach it each day to this book i will cling of its worth i will sing though many crosses and losses be mine for i cannot despair though surrounded by care while possessing this blessing divine okay so it's about the bible it's about the word of god and so he reads this and then starts you know this message you know so it's a it's mainly for a new audience new congregation where you know you're just a visitor and so he starts it like this right so um so it basically gets the people prepares the people's heart prepares their mind uh, and kind of settles things in their minds um if they have a question why should i listen why should i you know listen to this person well you can also use a you know humor you can also use a joke some people are good at that but you need to be careful right because if you crack a joke and nobody laughs or they don't get the joke and if they become even more serious <laughs> right then it is you really you know not um, you know not really fulfill that purpose right so of the joke so or maybe you're not used to take telling a joke right sometimes that happens you're not used to telling a joke and then but you try telling a joke and then it bounces back right but humor can actually be a good ice breaker right it can uh, it can create a kind of friendship a relationship and you can use humor right okay um also you can thank the host you know if it's uh, someone who has invited you to share invited you to preach you can also thank the person uh, i'm sure you you've been in services where you know the person typically says this right i bring greetings from this church right? they talk about which church whatever church and i bring greetings from that congregation and you know that's a traditional way of saying okay i come from this place and i'm you know bringing you wishes from that place and so on so so all this may be used so that is the introduction okay then what we see is okay we've got five more minutes i'll just go through this um is a proposition okay so while you know this these are things that we can we can use in a sermon outline or preparation of a sermon okay now these are the possibilities right the title introduction 
yes, these are things that we need to definitely have because it helps um, helps communicate better. It helps the recipient. And whereas these things, which we are going to talk about, you know, these are optional because there are many ways by which a sermon is preached. Right? Sometimes it's one full story we people share. At the end of it is the 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 high uh, the application of it. It's just one story. Once upon a time, you know, there was a man, and that's how it starts. Right? Sometimes it's a testimony. You know, in this place called you know such and such a place, in this place called Bangalore, there lived a poor man, and the whole thing is actually a testimony. It's about them, right? So they talk. They go through, and this man did this, this man did that, and etc. And then they ended by saying, and this man that I'm talking to you about is me. You know, my life was changed. You know, so it, you know, it's creatively presented. So it can be like that. So this proposition that we're talking about is, is an option. You know, it's a way by which you declare or introduce a subject. Okay? So proposition is simple declaration of the subject that you propose to discuss, that you propose to explain in this particular topic. right? It's like the thesis. When we say thesis, it's the big idea. right? It's a big idea that you're going to be presenting. It's a dominant thought. It's a theme that you're going to be presenting. So, you, so for example, um, you selected, what, what is your topic? Uh, intimacy with God. And uh, what is the title? Title is Intimacy with God. How to prevent friendship. Yeah. So, so your proposition, you know, would be, you know, this is about, uh, this is about closeness with God. This is about intimacy with God. Okay. So that is uh, in and in line with the proposition. So you've just said this whole thing is about intimacy with God, right? The message, and then you will also talk about um, uh, something called a complement, which means, okay, in this we are going to look at what is the thing that you said that I. How to build a friendship with God, and what are some things that are necessary, uh, important that you can do in order to build a friendship with God? So that's, you know, uh, that's the proposition. Okay, this is what you're proposing. This is what this message is about, right? So, so they say there are two things, you know, in a proposition, which means the subject, which means what am I going to talk about? That's the subject, right? Then the other thing, the complement is this. About the subject, what exactly am I going to share? Which is what you explain, you know, how to develop a friendship with God. Right? So, so these are this, this is something called the uh, proposition. So, why don't you take a time, take some time to line, uh, you know, write down in one sentence, okay, what is the proposition of your message in one sentence? It should cover everything. Um, just try and let's try and write that down. In the in the subject, the title that you proposed, right, right now, how can you know how can you sum up the whole message in one line? It's difficult, right? This message is about dot dot dot. Okay, so it should cover everything, but in one line, how can you summarize the the message that you're going to share? Okay. Just try it. So this proposition actually gives clarity for us as well as we are preparing, right? So maybe, yeah, yeah, you have a question. So written it as effective use mm -hmm. of the minimal ingredient for a maximum impact. Effective use of, of the minimal, minimal ingredient, ingredient for, for a maximum, maximum impact. impact. So, th so, so that is... Um, to salt, we are just a yeah. very minuscule population percentile wise worldwide but we have the potential to give a maximum impact yeah. on so, the world so that should be the thing when you're explaining it saying <laughs> how can i with um whatever minimal ability so what does ingredient refer to uh on topic wise it's obviously uh, salt yeah but what is it huh. pointing to it's pointing to the light of the world the salt of the world like uh, salt is a minimal ingredient for example, like biryani, which I was referring to, though it has a lot of ingredients, but salt is a minimal thing, but it has the maximum back in the Correct. food ways. Correct. So, uh, yeah. So I'm just thinking about it. Like, are, are you talking about the person having maximum impact? 
like salt is referring to, to the person right like the, the lifestyle of the person or the person being who he is in christ creating maximum impact right so so that should be the uh, the proposition right so that should be the proposition so it should not be cryptic it should be uh, yeah yeah it should be simple it should be yeah pretty straightforward and self explanatory kind of thing so when you say uh, you know little things that that gets me going i can say okay what is it what is he talking about um uh, so it should be a kind of a, so you're actually talking about the person has come the audience is there and uh, they have these questions but in the proposition you're talking about what the message is about so it should actually be the answer what the yeah All right okay so we'll we'll stop here and then we'll continue next class right okay thank you god bless